Wink Low, you know, representing that east side of the U.S. What's good with us, man? Tell us your, uh, you know, what you about in your hood story. Uh, Wink Low, you know what I'm saying? Call me the locomotive, you know, that's not moving, that's not moving forth, you know. Um, I'm from Brooklyn, Flatbush, uh, um, uh, street nigga, you know, just trying to fit into this music shit, um, get some time in the pen, you know what I mean? Get about 10 years in the pen, you know, um, just came home in 2007, um, just started making some dope ass music, um, that's about it, you know what I mean? I scream, um, uh, it's the world, you know what I'm saying? It's the world, you know what I'm saying? That's what I'm feeling in right now, you know? It's some real loud nigga shit. That's what it is. That's what it is, man. I, um, you know, I just kind of got a, got a hold to you out of humbug, man. I just I was riding to the spot the other night, and uh, you know, I was listening to you, um, you know, on uh, on the satellite, DJ K Slay, and your music came on, and I'm like, man, this nigga is dope. I gotta reach out to him. And you a real nigga for you know hitting hit the nigga right back. Do you do you get that a lot where you you know niggas hear your music and then they just gravitate to it? Yeah, I get a lot of that, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people, they might not have went through what I went through, but they can still pay the music, you know what I'm saying? And you can associate it with, associate yourself with it some way, somehow, somebody you know or whatever. So a lot of people don't really kind of gravitate to it, because a lot of people like, you know, they try to, uh, they don't listen to the words, man. They just look at it as, uh, you know, wake up with the crib, and, you know, they don't, that ain't what they want to hear, you know, right now. All right. So what's your, you know, he's speaking on the on the bloods and Chris. What's your um, what's your feeling on uh floss floss flagging, man? How you feel about that? Oh man, there's a lot of false flags in the industry, as we, in the industry, as we know, you know, I, I can't speak on someone that's three or three or claiming a false flag, but you can definitely tell what's false flag and what's only a fictitious, you know what I'm saying? Too many, you know, just be bullshit, you know what I mean? If you really about that life, you, you know what I mean? You really about that life, you just can't just get to that life. Like when you're a grown ass man, like you for your whole life as a kid, teenager, you was nothing, and now you're a grown ass man, and you like this super gang banging ass nigga weapons, you know, bloods or crippin', you know what I mean? It doesn't make it, you know, different which one you choose, you know what I'm saying? But just be real to yourself, you know what I'm saying? I think the false flag is being that um, a lot of real niggas is accepting it, or a lot of fake real niggas is accepting it. That's why, you know, being allowed, basically, you know what I mean? I feel you. All right, man, let's get to some music. Um, you know, you from the East Coast, man. Um, your top three rappers of all time. Uh, uh, top three rappers of all time. Um, I'm going to have to say, uh, I'm going to say Biggie. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to say Big. Um, I'm going to also say, uh, damn, it's, that's kind of hard. Just three, uh, shit. Uh, the three that, uh, well, the three that influenced you. We can do it like that. Uh, I'm going to say, well, I'm going to say Pac, I'm going to say 50, yeah. and I'm going to say G. Okay. Why is that? Well, that's what it is, man. And, and when I went and checked out your music, you told me you had two mixtapes out. Ran through them, man. It seemed like it's, it's genuine. It's like real shit. It seemed like it, it, it appears that, you know, you, you got a story to tell. And, and, you know, the momentum is building now. Your buzz is, is bubbling. You say you did some time behind bars. What changed uh, your mind state to go ahead and, and start doing this music shit for real, for real, and, and get on the right track? Well, that's, that's the funny part about the story. Like, before I went to prison, you know what I'm saying? I went to prison when I was young. Before I went to prison, I wasn't into music. You know what I'm saying? I used to take balls and shit. And when I was in prison, I had like maybe like eight months left. And um, everybody in the prison, like, you know what I mean? I used to work out a lot, so a lot of people ain't like, you know what I mean? They couldn't fuck with me on the waist. I'm very competitive. And um, everybody was rapping. I was like, man, what the fuck, man? I couldn't do this shit. I used to be upset. Like, damn, this shit ain't my day, man. Mm-hmm. And, um, I just started fucking around with it, talking around with it, and um, thinking like, yo, you really can't do this, and when somebody tell me I can't do something, then I guess that motivates me to do more, so, you know, I came home. Um, my home boy, he had a deal with Def Jam, um, Troy Ave, he put me on the track, whatever, 
Official, man, that's real. Well, shit, man, I, I know you're a busy man. You, you know, um, you got shows and you probably got studio time and all. Why don't you? I uh, got a couple more questions. Why don't you just let us uh, lay the groundwork and let us know what you've been doing and, and what you got coming up. Uh, once again, your affiliations and all that. Okay, uh, right now, um, I'm working on the next couple of while working on a few projects at the same time. Um, I just dropped a little more to, you know what I'm saying, dropped a few months ago. Um, that's going crazy. Um, I'm working on this, uh, CT compilation album with, uh, Freddie Gaines. Um, it's like Pull Up, Squirrel Up, you know, Dream Team, you know what I'm saying, and I'm working on that. Um, I'm with Philly, with, uh, CT, World, you know what I mean, Jeezy and them, you know, they actually, uh, you know, embrace me. You know what I mean? They embrace you know what I mean? They embrace you know what I mean? 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 You know what all right that's what it is bro i wanted to thank you for uh, taking the time out man reaching out uh like i like i say man this in you know, the midwest we, we kind of fuck with a little bit of everybody actually i um I had Freddie Gibbs in the last issue. I'll probably do another story on him this time. Um, so, you know, we, we fuck with the real niggas out this way. And, you know, I want people to know about you uh, just because I got the I got the outlet. And, and you know, I'm a real nigga. So I try to show all the real niggas the love. All right, what we gonna do, man? We just gonna leave it with the last words to the hood, and then you just give us a little drop. You know, um, do your placement for um, what project you got coming on. Just shout out Hood Illustrated, and we good. What's your last words to the hood?